Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and another MDT 2013 uh, video. But this one is a little different. It's actually how to deploy a particular application. And this request is actually brought to you by Carlos. Uh, he wants to know how to deploy SQL Server as well as Visual Studios 2013 to a during deployment time, right? Uh, I'm only going to show you guys how to do the SQL Server. Uh, I'm still playing around with the Visual uh, Studios because Visual Studios has a lot of packages to be deployed. It has to be like a certain way to deploy them to do it correctly. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the SQL Server. So uh, the one that I'm doing on this video would be uh, SQL Express, but it's basically the same approach. Uh, what you guys need to do is this is the exe file. This exe file is not what you're going to be importing inside your MDT server. You need to double click on it on a machine and as you can see it's dropping it into a particular directory. Now if we go into that directory which is normally the root of your C drive which is right here. This is the folder that my SQL Express created. These are the files that you guys need to grab. This is what you're going to be importing inside your MDT server. okay? Because uh, within the command line that we need to call to deploy our SQL Express correctly we need to call the setup file. So I'm actually going to close that because I already grabbed those files. Let's get into our MDT server. Awesome. So I already have uh, Windows operating systems 8.1 and Windows 7 and I already got my task sequence. If you guys don't know how to do the task sequence and porting operating systems, there's a link at the bottom that takes you directly to my MDT playlist. Check them out. They're good uh, startup tutorials. Uh, so we need to go inside our application node. And as always, if you guys have been following me, I love creating folders to keep everything nice and organized. So we're going to create a SQL Server. And because SQL Server has so many versions, we're going to create another folder. And inside that folder is going to be 2008. That's, I was going to push out. But you guys can do the same thing with the other ones. But there is a catch. And I'm going to show you guys or tell you a little bit about what the catch is. So let's go in here and we're going to go right click and new application. I do have the source files. Click on next. Uh, the publisher is Microsoft. Application is SQL Server and the version is 2008 and it is English. Right? English. Oh, take that zero out of there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, click on next. Source directory is going to be, I have it inside my shared and it is right here. This is all the stuff that we need we're gonna press uh, OK we're gonna hit next next and now the command line now the command line this is where I want to show you guys what the command line is about so let me actually minimize all this and I already have a cheat sheet of my command line that I need to do so this is the cheat sheet right here and the way that you guys can set up your your parameters for your deployment. Uh, there's a site that you could actually could go to, which I am going to provide the link at the bottom of the description. I know I say server, uh, I know I say server 2014, but it does work with the older um, servers. So if you go all the way to the bottom, there's a bunch of parameters that you need to enter. The ones that say required are the ones that you definitely need for this to work properly. You want this to run silently behind the scenes you wanted to deploy during MDT time right so pick the ones that you want to choose now the ones that I picked out is uh, I want to hide the install the action is going to be an install it's going to be silently the features that I want this particular application to install is the SQL the tools the instant name I'm going to keep it as the SQL Express but you guys could change it if you want the SQL system admin account is going to be the built-in administrator and the SQL service account is going to be the NT authority system. Again, you guys could customize it to the way that you want it, but I'm only going to customize it on this video like this. Again, I'm going to provide the link so you can go to the MSDN uh, TechNet website and check out the other parameters so you could configure it the way you want it. So I'm going to paste that that way. And uh, that's beautiful. And click next. Next. And it's going to do its thing. It's going to copy all those files into our deployment share and let's actually go inside our deployment share and I'll see drive deployment and application 
and within the application we should see our SQL awesome there it goes beautiful see awesome so I'm gonna close that up import it with no problem awesome beautiful so the next thing that you need to do is right click your deployment share let's update our deployment share click on next next complete full update awesome so what I am going to do is minimize my workbench minimize this and uh, this information if you guys want this information I'm gonna post it at my site I'm gonna place the link at the bottom of the description so you guys could go go to my website and get the parameters that I use but again I'm gonna provide you the MSDN site so you could go and customize it a little bit more so I'm gonna open up my WDS and I am going to uh, I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna restart I'm not gonna replace my boot images because it's not a huge thing and press that I already have a BJ temp virtual machine so let's power it up and let's pixie boot into my environment and I want to do this on the Windows 7 side so I'm gonna boot inside my 86 bit environment so once my 86 bit environment is um, booted up we will continue pick the application that we want to deploy and see what happens okay so we okay so we are within our deployment wizard this is awesome it wants us to pick our task sequence again I'm gonna be deploying uh, a Windows 7 machine a 32-bit operating system uh, with SQL Express 2008 again if you guys are using old, newer versions of SQL you probably need to get .NET framework package that up into your MDT push that out first before you push out the uh, before you push out your SQL now there is an option that if you go inside your MDT I'm gonna show you guys right now so let's go inside the MDT and let's go into the application SQL let's say I, I was deploying Server 2014. There is a prerequisite that you really need to deploy first before installing SQL 2014, uh, and that's I think .NET 3.5 framework. Uh, you can actually get the file, uh, import it inside your operating, uh, import it into your MDT application node. Go to dependencies and add it here. Now that needs to be installed first. Once that's installed first, then SQL Server 2014 can be installed. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel that and let's go back into our wizard and I'm gonna do Windows 7. Click on Next. Computer Detail. Let's change the name to BJ Temp and click on Next. And no, no. Local time, Pacific time. Again, you guys can customize this a lot, but I, I haven't done that. So let's click on next. The one that we want is server SQL server SQL Server 2008. Now, uh, I'm only going to install the instant, okay? The services. It's not really installing the management studio. So that means guys, that's going to be another package that you need to create and find out if they it has any parameters to do it silently. Uh, click next. Uh, this is the details and we're gonna hit begin and we're gonna let it run and I'm gonna turn back the the screencast when it gets to the point of it installing the secret server stuff so you guys can alright guys so my deployment <laughs> my deployment thing has happened it's up to the point of that it is installing the Microsoft SQL Server 2008 crossing the fingers that everything works well uh, I'm just gonna let this run a little bit to see if it does run if it doesn't run properly or you get an error at the very end when it gets to the summary page it's gonna tell you if it fell if it didn't fail that's awesome it's great but if you want to cheat a little bit to see if it is installing you just go to start you go to all programs and you will see that your Microsoft SQL Server 2008 folder should appear I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it be a little bit. I'm gonna leave it alone and see if it happens. All right, guys. So let's let's double check. It hasn't finished completely as of yet. It hasn't gone to the next phase. But I'm gonna go to start all programs, and there goes the folder Microsoft SQL Server 2008. It's basically installing all the installation center first, and once it's done with that, it's gonna start doing that. You just saw it, right? Oh, that's awesome. So as you can see, it just it just installed the configuration manager, but it's doing its thing. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, this uh, nice video request. Uh, thank you so much, Carlos. If any questions or comments, leave it at the bottom of the description. Uh, I will start working on the Visual Studio stuff to sh uh, show you guys how to deploy that with MDT 2013 and WDS. 
And if you guys have any comments or questions, leave it at the bottom of the comment section. And uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy, the one that's been using all the hand movements throughout the video. And it also supports the video as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.